Hey there, folks. Welcome to the Stu's Game Reviews live stream. And we're going to get we're playing Seven Years From Now, which is a uh, interesting uh, adventure-style game, which I'll talk about more in a second. I'm wearing my old-school gamer t-shirt, which I got from supporting their magazine. And I have with me um, a change in voice acting for tonight. Instead of the gamer's grotto, <laughs> we have Dorian Cairn. Hey, Dorian, how's it going? Ah, uh, hi, Stu. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, so, uh, you're going to recap the last one for us, because I, unfortunately, wasn't there for it. No, I absolutely am going to, I'm going to recap. Um, well, first of all, just like, I, I guess, you know, for people watching, whoever, whoever's watching, I guess Pirate Gear Boy's watching, who says that you're a very old-school gamer indeed. I am a very old-school gamer indeed. Um, but I wanted, ideally, to get the two of you both to voice act at the same time, but, like, when we did the first part, you weren't available because you were staying by some friends or something, and, yeah. uh, and then now, we, Gamer's Grotto is, like, MIA somewhere. We don't know where he is. <laughs> so, unfortunately, we got, like, just, just a complete swap over, but basically, this is the plot of the game. You're this dude, the guy who's on the left here, whose hair is like Alfalfa from uh, The Little Rascals, or um, I forgot what someone else called him on the stream yet last time, but his hair like sticks, up, sticks him straight in the air. What was it? Was it Astro Boy? It wasn't Astro Boy. That'd be another good, another good one, but it was something similar to that. Um, and uh, in any case, I can't remember what it was, but in any case, this guy apparently um, seven years ago. He some some girl told him that he'll meet she'll meet him in seven years from now, and then he had amnesia after that. He doesn't know what happened. He got he got adopted by some other people, and he's he's not now a teenager. He's late te before he was a kid. Now he's like a teenager, and he's, he went back to this town that he knows he he was originally adopted in or something, and trying to figure out what's going on. And so what happened was in the in the first part is the very beginning of the stream. His mom told him to go to this doctor that she knows in the town and like give him a gift or something. So she goes to this he goes to this doctor and the doctor like basically gives him some, some medicine because he says she says he has an infection or something. He drinks the medicine and then he like passes out and then he wakes up and we're making all sorts of jokes about the doctor's molesting him and whatever else, right? <laughs> but but like <laughs> the doctor says like to him, you okay and he's like yeah and he's like what day is it he says it's like the 29th of march or something he's like okay good you're you're fine and then he leaves and he goes to the hospital and then like there's like basically three days that we did we, we, we got through three more days in the game and he meets th these people that used to know him years ago including this guy i forget his name now but some guy used to know him and uh, this guy's brother's in the hospital, and, and, and he's sick, and apparently there's some conspiracy where whoever gets some d this disease, they, they make them, anybody that's involved gets their memories wiped, and maybe that's what happened to you, maybe you got your memories wiped, and there was some girl that used, the girl that apparently I like, told you to be here in seven years, she's dead, you find out, and it's all like sort of progressing, and like, it's like, everybody watching the game was like, this is really weird, and like, like what's going on, and like, like, this is not so good, though. The story is, like, so too weird, basically. Then, all of a sudden... I forget what happens, but all of a sudden, basically... He wakes up, and he's in the doctor's office again. And the doctor's like, are you okay? And he's like... Yeah, you, you, turned, you turned out Pyrokey right before it got good. And the doctor's like, are you okay? And he's like, what? What's going on? And the doctor's like, are you okay? Like, what day is it today? And he says, it's, like, April 3rd. And the doctor's like, no, no, it's March 29th. And then it's Ooh. like, what? I was, I was I was like, what? What? Wait, just happened. Like, that whole thing that he lived those three days didn't actually happen? Like, is it was, Maybe, all, was it a vision or something? Or did he go back in time now? Or, like, what? It's not clear. So that's, that's basically where we ended the last stream. Sort of like with a bombshell of, like, what just happened? Uh, well, maybe uh, maybe it's a Groundhog Day thing or something. I mean, maybe. I, I really have no idea. So, we're going to find out, hopefully. Let's see if I can load the game here. Um, yeah, so clinic checkup room. So, this is the doctor. So, basically, so, you know, all, all the... All, no, there's no voices in the game at all. 
Um, you can you can reinterpret this and use whatever voice you want. Haruto is you. Haruto is the kid with the hair sticking up in the air, and white hair man is is uh, you can see either Colonel Sanders or or Doctor Ichiki. <laughs> Colonel, Colonel Sanders. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, right, shall I start? Yeah, go for it. All right, sure. What are you saying, Dr. Ichigi? I arrived in town on Sunday and met you on Monday. Yes. <laughs> yes which makes today... Wait, oh, sorry. Which makes today Monday. Uh... What? First, let's calm down and try going over here. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. You arrived at the clinic this morning. After you smelt some of the this incense, you started to act a little odd. I want to turn on the vibe of the game even more because it's like it's too damn loud. Well, it sounds okay on. It's just it's a, little bit, it's a little bit too loud. Hmm. Especially because your mic is a little bit lower. Like I said, I turned oh, the I'm vibe. sorry. No, it's okay. It's not your fault. Just a, it's just too beady. I'm getting you fucking mic. Right, there we go. Um, you read that already. Right. After, oh yeah, after. So far, so good. Dr. Ichigi, you're not pulling upon me, are you? I would never do such a thing. <laughs> Is that because he's Curl Sanders, you do like that, that accent? <laughs> uh, well, that's the only southern accent I know. <laughs> Maybe I should get some fresh air. You need to get some rest. You don't look so well. I'm fine, thank you. I'm fine, thank you. I should get going. What the hell's going on? But he gave him some random like medicine or something. Oh. Is he some? Is he some? Some evil figure? Maybe. Maybe he's. You know, March twenty ninth. He didn't. Sorry. No, uh, so you don't. You've, you don't have to say that out loud if you don't want to, because he's thinking, obviously. So it's your, your call on that. <laughs> no, I think I'll read it. March 29th, He didn't seem to be lying. What am I saying? How can this be possible? I should check my phone. March twenty ninth. No way. I have to go to the hospital. Because you're sick. <laughs> Alright, so I can control this guy. There's like a limited amount of interaction in this game. At least I can I can actually walk around. Yeah. <laughs> uh, where am I going to the hospital? Didn't you just leave the hospital? No, I just I just walked yeah. to the hospital. That was the that was like the clinic. Alright. I'll i I'll find out the truth if I talk to the nurse. This one? Welcome to Nish uh, to Nishi uh, sorry Nishikata Hospital. <laughs> That's all she says. It's not very helpful. She looks like a stereotypical anime girl. Uh, I know it's strange. I know it's strange, but have we met before? Huh? I'm sorry. I don't remember meeting you. Do you know what day it is today? It's March 29th. I see. I'm sorry for troubling you. <laughs> you sure are a funny kid. This is a little weird. <laughs> I can't quite believe it. It's Monday again. I don't remember what happened either that triggered this. Like, I don't think you, like fell or hit his head or something. I don't recall what, what made it all of a sudden happen. Did he go to bed or something? No, or he didn't go to just bed. Before I, just before I blacked out. I guess he blacked out. Right, we were attacked by somebody. We were? I don't remember. Oh. oh. It was also my... Oh, oh so, he, so he broke into the hospital, like into the basement of the hospital where the records were to try to find out what's going on with like people that are being abducted and their you know, memory wiped or whatever. And he found his own record and then someone like basically busted it and said, hey, what are you doing? And then and then like it went black. 
And then he woke up back in the... That's it's something like that. Ooh. This is like conspiracy... Maybe they wiped his thing. memory again. <laughs> but, <laughs> a, but if they wiped his memory, how he couldn't go back in time three days. It doesn't, doesn't make sense. Yeah, now that, that bit is... Um, that seems questionable. Um, all right, I see. Sorry. Uh, where were we? There was also my surgical record. I have to forget about that for now. Sounds like you've forgotten about a lot. <laughs> I have to get to the basement and find out what happened. Where's the friend that he was with, though? The basement was like... Oh, I guess it was a... Where was it? Like, you had to go down or something? That's the elevator? What the hell was it? We got floor one. I think it was like in the corner here or something. I'm confused, dude. It's a very cutesy art style for what seems to be a conspiracy thriller. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, let me leave this. I th I'm confused now. Was it through the other door? Maybe it was. Well, that's the that's the kid that I think that you know. Okay. Maybe not. Uh, flowers are so lucky. It's just some some be patient. <laughs> I was going to say some moron, but... No, it's probably just... Here's the basement. Patient. It was here. Oh. The door is locked. Yeah, it was locked before, too, but the friend, like, b broke in for you. Oh, okay. I need Riku to open it. Where's Riku? Wait, maybe Riku has experienced the same thing. I really should have thought that earlier. I might be able to understand what's going on if I can meet him. I should go to Ke Kekeru's room. Kekeru is, is, is Riku's brother. Ah. That's, yeah, that's a lot of... Really exclamation point for the elevator. Yeah, that's a lot of makeup. Uh, are, you, are you here to visit someone? Uh, yes, I'm here to see Kekeru Ima Imaki. Are you a relative? <laughs> no, I'm a friend. I'm sorry, Mr. Kakero is not permitted visitors other than his relatives. <laughs> sorry, I guess I can only do one voice tonight. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. What should I do? I met Rico on Tuesday, tomorrow. Since I don't know where he is right now, I should try waiting for him where we first met. Oh, this is, so this is like a Groundhog Day thing. Oh, weird, yeah. yeah. Mm. He first met, like, over here somewhere, on the grounds. I, I wasn't here, but I don't remember where exactly it was. <laughs> the fresh air is lovely here. I wonder when I'll get better. <laughs> well, this is the spot. Give me an exclamation point, just tell me. Is that right here? Yeah, I'm guessing, yeah. Can we interact with it? <laughs> All right. I'll just come back tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so the presumption is he's going to come there a day early. How's it going, Palpuk, by the way? Palpuk changed his name to Palpuk I am Farticus. Instead of Spartacus, oh. here's Farticus. Flowers are so lucky that bees are attracted to them. Yeah, that's true, I guess. What <laughs> happened? Did you just like, stay there all night and it got dark? I guess it's just time passed. Yeah. Damn it. I was trying to tweet something. Um, hang on. Uh, sorry, just trying to... Okay. I'm going to see if that helps my mic. Um, oh, God. Thank God. I don't know why I turned it down so low. Sorry. Um, oh, right, that guy. The paint. What paint? Uh. Hmm. Crap. Uh. I'm sorry. It. It's fine. Is he got paint on him? I guess. 
Well, kid, it looked like it looked like you knew where the papers you knew the paint was going to spill. Because think, they couldn't animate that. I think your mic said it better before actually. Now it's like sort of revert like booming or something. Like reverberating. Yeah. Ugh, I'm sorry. That's okay, I'm um, just telling you. No, it's fine, it's fine. Um Let me see, let me tweak the volume a bit. How about now? Is that different? It's good. Is it is this alright? I think it's good now, yeah. Well, let me know. Uh, let me know if I can change anything else. Where were we? E yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah, Pirate Gear Boy said also, now you're peaking the mic. It's better now, right, Pirate Gear Boy? Let, do let me know, Pirate Gear Boy. Uh, and do tell me what I he says. I think it's better now, but he'll tell us. Mm. You're welcome. Phew, that was close. Thanks so much. No problem. I guess he avoided the paint spilling this time? Yeah, at least they couldn't animate that. Dot, dot, dot. He said it's better, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, Let I me know. Why do they say dot, dot, dot in Japanese games so much? I don't get that. I think it just it indicates silence. Where's his. He's missing a left parenthesis now. <laughs> oh, dear. That's going to drive me crazy. Damn, this is really awkward. Riku is nowhere to be seen. Maybe I should go somewhere else. You should go boop yourself. Yes. Hey, Jim. Jim, Jim says, all right, Jim Leonard, all right, Stu. Pull over. This is the vintage computer game. We're going to give you a citation. <laughs> He's played multiple games that are, like, uh, pretty new. Mostly that Japanese um, Japanese visual novels for some reason. But yeah, you know, this isn't I like his to, first new game. I like to spread the wealth a little bit. But yeah, indeed, indeed. Go ahead, don't, want to type. <laughs> uh, don't, don't want to typecast yourself. Yeah, exactly. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, I should try going upstairs or something. Yeah, let's try that. Then let me know if folks in the chat before, say. Did you still let us in? I mean, that was, was that the whole point? Hmm. I'm actually not there, so we can go. Oh, wow, I got a choice. Holy crap. Oh, my God. Let's go to the fourth floor. If you send me Snatcher, will I play it? If, if it's an original copy, bet your ass I'll play it. <laughs> <laughs> as long as it's the Sega CD English version. <laughs> the smell is familiar. Whew. Oh, so, he, so he, he, he has these flashbacks. It looks like he got another flashback because uh, you're showing him like as a kid again now. That's oh. the girl, I guess. What's wrong? Ah, you scared me! <laughs> hey, you don't have to be so surprised. I thought my heart was gonna stop. Alright, calm down. <laughs> Sorry about that. Your heart is already quite weak, I guess. Oh, jeez. Sucky, that's not funny. <laughs> so Saki supposedly died. They said the other the other alternative future. I guess I don't know. <laughs> uh, Saki, Saki, are you alone? Time for some Saki, Saki. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that is a hell of a pickup line. I know. That was, I was bad. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> no, 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 got, no. I mean, I'm not, Saki's not the person that died. Aoi is the one that supposedly oh. died. Aoi. I, I, I don't know who the Honoka is. Kakaro's the other kid, I guess. And Riku's the other guy. Sorry. Well, that's fine. Uh, I'm glad you're uh, keeping me up to date. Let me know if anyone in the chat says anything about how I sound, by oh, the way, because I'll try. You sound better now. Okay. Yep. A Aoi, uh, Kakeru, and Hon Honoka have their, check have, have their checkups. And Riku says he can't come today. What happened to your, your voice acting there? Sorry. Oh, right. Sorry. I forgot. I thought I was reading this in. Oh, checkups. It's strange, right? They seem so healthy. And yet they have more checkups than we do. I wonder why they're even here. I mean, for us, it's obvious, but. Right. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Of course, we own because they're here. Hmm. 
people right. with diabetes really got to meet them because they're here. Uh, I guess they met them in the hospital. Okay, I know, but like this, this is very weird dialogue. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> don't mimic me. So what were you thinking about? Oh, let me guess. Owie's birthday present? I was just spacing out. So there's no present? We get we get them every year from the nurses. I guess so. These flashbacks are boring. Even if we wanted to give something, it's not like we couldn't prepare anything right now. Yeah, but... But still, I'd be... Happy, no matter what it was. <laughs> oh, romantic subplot. <laughs> haven't you ever given a pre haven't you ever given a present before? Before before I came here, I mean. Hmm, once maybe. Oh, what did you give? Well, it wasn't a gift, really. Oh, he said that he that she wanted to see a meteor shower from outside, not through a window. I feel like that was in a previous flashback. Uh, the doctor said we couldn't, but we decided to sneak out anyway since it was her birthday. We ended up getting caught and got in a lot of trouble. Haha, <laughs> what happened? Oh, he started to have a fever. And when I called for help, even Aoi was angry at me. Oh, Trying to do something nice for someone. <laughs> ah, that's so weird. What kind of weird letters are that on the side of the Coke machine, by the way? Yeah. Or the front. It's the Tetris, like... Tetris Coke machine on the front. Yeah, it doesn't look like Japanese. <laughs> so even Aoi... So even Aoi can get angry at times, huh? Yeah. Actually, it wasn't the same as being angry. I think I get it. This is very deep dialogue for children. I wouldn't be... I wouldn't want to be a burden on someone either. Yeah, kids don't... Kids don't talk like this. They're like, where's your Pokemon cards? Do you have any Pokemon cards? Let's you, trade Pokemon cards. You got games on your phone? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, do you watch the new Star Wars movie? Ah. <laughs> uh, children and their carefree lives uh, it's like forget me and go right huh something like that you know, my, my daughter was reading a book and she's like this book is definitely written by a guy and I said like how do you, how would he make you say that and she's like well the main character is a woman and she just saw this cop and it said like she she thought he had a really nice ass or something like that and she's like this is definitely written by a man I was like, okay, <laughs> maybe. Well, she says so. I don't know. I like <laughs> I guys, and I. I but, like guys, and I. But this yes, was definitely written by an adult and not by a kid. Is what was sort of the reason why I, why I brought that up. Yeah. No, totally. This is not. You can definitely tell this is not somebody who knows how kids talk very well. Yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't like either. But I'd rather be left behind than leave someone else behind. I guess. But I'm a scaredy cat, so if it happened to me, I'd probably regret it and be like, don't leave me. I can't imagine that. <clears throat> it'd definitely be lo <clears throat> it'd definitely be you, lonely. I have no yes? idea what's going on right now at all. This is what happened. Like, we just we came in the middle of some interlude. We don't know who the, we don't know what who these people are, what the fuck they're doing in this hospital, what anything's going on. This is what I was going through most of the first stream, and we were starting to feel like, okay, like what's going on here? And then this thing happened with the time that, that all of a sudden made it really interesting. And unfortunately, we've somehow gotten back into this. Like, I'm, I'm sure it's going to tie together at some point, but right now it's like, do you have any idea what the hell's going on? Because I don't. No, this seems like it's just setting up a whole lot of mysteries. Yeah, it sounds like it. Uh, Powerbuck says they're prodigies, that's why their heads are so big. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Pirate Gear Boy says just pay more attention, deeply analyze the text. Yeah, I don't know about that. Yeah, I was an English major and I don't think. No. Dying alone? Yeah, that's what kids talk about. I'm trying to analyze like this text on the right side of the, 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 the vending machine. It looks like Hebrew characters. It says, like, 
like brus brus or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> like Call what the hell is that? <laughs> hey, sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, <clears throat> dying alone. Yeah, because kids talk about that. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it would be a. Yeah, I guess it would be a bit lonely. Well, kids, kids in hospitals might talk about dying. That's that is possible. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, we already commented Pirate Gear Boy the Tetris pieces on the front of the machine. Yeah. yeah. We shouldn't be talking about sad things like this. Hey, let's go make another coffee. <laughs> Kids that age should not be drinking coffee. <laughs> or making coffee. Yeah. Oh yeah, we haven't made any since we screwed it up last time. Right, let's give it another go. I heard that changing location is a good way to change your mood. Okay, let's go. I thank God this interview is over. He's come back to the senses again. I'm sure that's setting up some decision we're going to have to make later about leaving someone behind or something. Maybe. Saki Honoka. Honoka? Is, I don't know who that is. Damn it! I can't remember any more than that. Fourth floor. I think this is it. The question is, is this kid going to be there, or is it going to be like he never even existed or something? Oh, it's the room. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think we want to avoid her seeing us, don't we? What's this way? Maybe. Nothing. I don't know if they wait a minute. Nothing else. There's no rooms here, even. This is like, <laughs> what, what a great <laughs> hospital. <laughs> I guess we have to talk to her. Ah, you scared me. Did you hear me humming? Gosh, that's so embarrassing. Dot, dot, dot. Wait, Haruto? Oh, was that her? Oh. Is I that guess so. Saki? Uh, I guess so. And See, I got, I was getting, this, so this is being the end of chapter six. But I was getting confused. I kept whenever this came up, I thought it was like it means okay. Now it's chapter six, and I guess they've also have an option to end. But no, it's saying this is the end of chapter six. Yeah. I mean, I mean it was obvious to you, but it wasn't obvious to me. No, 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 I get it. It's, it's confusing. <laughs> That's confusing. I just see the fucking game. We move on now. It looks like the same girl. Yeah. Oh, are you... Are you suck... <laughs> what was he about to ask her? <laughs> are you suck... Are you sucking... <laughs> Are you sucking professionally right, now? All right, so go on, go on. There's a family-friendly just... channel here. I know, I know, I'm terrible. <laughs> what? Oh no, I have to get going. What? Run, run. Sorry, Ruto, can you come back tomorrow? That's all he says? That's like, oh, it's so great to see you again? It's like, like sorry, come back tomorrow? It's a little weird. Sh sure. Okay, I'll be here tomorrow, so please come back. I'll be waiting. All right, tomorrow then. Yep. Friends owned. It's a promise. Yeah, a promise. I'll be waiting. You promised. Okay. All right. Tomorrow, huh? I guess I'll go home for today. Why? No, I, I think you should be trying to find your friend. Well, you can't, I guess he's no choice because there, there was no actual rooms on that floor, so. Yeah. I think he has to pee now. He has dreamed about magic water or something. <laughs> I couldn't discover anything useful all day. It's Monday. Again. The sur That surgical record I saw. The report Riku found. The ones who attacked us. He just jumped. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot to take in. Tomorrow morning I'll head to the fourth floor and then meet Riku, da Riku downstairs. If I were him, I'd be like, be like, go to checking myself into a mental institution. 
Yeah, seriously, you could have like had a serious head trauma or something. Also, by the way, okay. people fly. None of them actually stand, if you notice. They're all floating. Yeah. I guess, uh... We're we'll just tippy going. Okay, I should go. Let's go. How about way, jackass? <laughs> what, what's this guy wearing, by the way? Oh my god. <laughs> it, it, like... it was a Borat costume. <laughs> yeah, now that is exactly what it looks like. <laughs> Rico will be here a little later. For now, I should go to the fourth floor. Bye, lady. Float, 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 float. Oh, there she is. Haruto! Long, <clears throat> long time no see. You're Saki, right? Uh, you met yesterday. Aha, <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh, yep. All grown up. You've grown too, Naruto. Yeah. Um, I don't want to freak you out, but... I don't want you to freak out. What is it? You're making me nervous. Sorry, but... I barely have any memories of my time here at the hospital. I don't remember much about you either. Huh? I I see. Hmm. But but you still remember a little bit, right? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, after coming to the hospital a few days ago. I mean, yesterday I started to remember, but by bit by bit, you cut out for a second. Uh, bit by bit, yes. I also met Riku. Oh, wait. That's tomorrow. Uh, I mean... Uh -uh. What? Actually... Oh, no. Another flashback? Okay, let's do uh, that. I told Saki how many times I'd, I <laughs> had come... I told Saki how I had come back to find my lost memories. God. And that this was my second Monday. Hmm. So when you and Riku went to the basement, some people attacked you? Yeah. I lost consciousness and then the next moment I was in Dr. Ichiki's, <clears throat> Dr. Ichiki's clinic. I know it's difficult to believe. Nope. I believe you, Naruto. Really? That didn't take, well, that didn't I take much. <laughs> no. I'd be like, oh, you have a serious head trauma. You yeah. should get checked in. <laughs> exactly. But what were you and Riku doing in the basement in the first place? That's... Classified. Yeah. Don't worry about it. He's very blasé about this. Yeah. So, Haruto, you came back to town to fulfill a promise from seven years ago. Yeah. And there's a high chance that, this, that the girl is Aoi. Yeah, but Aoi is already... I think I know where you made that promise. Do you want to go there right away? Huh? How do you know? Maybe... Well, let's go. You might remember something. I want to go, but I have to meet, re meet Riku after this. Oh, don't worry about that. I see him all the time. Plus, we can go straight to Kakeru's room and meet him later. They're throwing off the timeline. Oh, then I guess. Let's go. First up will be the place you made the promise. Thanks, Zaki. Alrighty then, let's head out. The jaunty music there, it's like Mr. Rogers for a second. Yeah. Do, 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 do. We're nearly there. Just step off this cliff. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> I 
sorry. It looked like God, they went nowhere. It was a wishing well. Here we are. It's been a while since I've been here. <laughs> since I pushed my last boyfriend down the well. <laughs> this place. Uh, flashback. Oh. The smell is familiar. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to do that. No, mm, it's fine. Oh, what? Okay. Look at her bow, it's so oh. cute. <laughs> oh. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's, it's Owie now. Uh, it's, it's Owie, I bet, guess I better think of another voice. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm fine. Are you sure you aren't hurt or anything? We both know your body isn't the strongest. Oh, dude. I know, I'm thinking about that too. <laughs> No, no, I really am fine. I tripped up, but I'm not bleeding or anything. Sorry for calling you suddenly. It's okay, don't worry about it. What were you doing? Uh, I was looking for flowers. My parents. Sorry. Fla <laughs> flowers? They're called... Dianthuses. Dianthuses. I probably said that very wrong. That word. They only bloom once every seven years. No, oh, then it's probably made up. I saw them blooming over here from my window a while ago, but it seems like they've all been trimmed. They should have gone already because of the season, but I wondered. I wondered if some seeds were left at the bottom of the well. So that's why you were peering into the well. Oh, it's just peeing into the well. Uh, oh, oh my god. Sorry, peering. I made a mistake. Oh. Sorry. No. no, that would have been funnier though. <laughs> uh, yeah. If I found any, I wanted to give them to you as a present. To me? For the things I said to you yesterday, I wanted to apologize. Dot, dot, dot. The dianthesis. The, di the dianthesis here will bloom seven years from now, so I wanted to see them with you again. Oh, that's why seven years. Yeah. But it seems like seems like they were all trimmed. There weren't even any seeds left. Oh. Palpuck is making a bunch of jokes. He said that the vending machine's always out of the line pieces. I couldn't read that before because it was covered up by that stupid emoji thing. And he says ah. it's the well from the ring, and it, it says the water tastes funny now because she was peeing yeah the. Out. <laughs> the Ring. That was my favourite. One of my favourite horror movies. As a kid. <laughs> I guess it can't be helped. Plants are, plants are a lot stronger than they look. They won't all disappear so easily. Even if we can't find them now, they're probably still around here somewhere. Really? Are we? Let's come back here seven years from now. Huh? The two of us, together. You don't want to? No, no. Okay, it's a promise. Okay, to make sure I don't forget, I'll write the date in the hat. What hat? Is that wearing a hat? Yeah. Seven years from today is March. Hmm. Why don't we make it April 1st? Then our first date will, will be a joke. <laughs> That's easier to remember. Deal. April 1st it is. Okay. Right here on April 1st. Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay. Right here on April 1st. Seven years from now. Don't forget. I won't. I promise. She's dead. Isn't she? Oh no. That's so sad. Oh, no. A promise. So it was here with Aoi. Haru Haruto, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. So, how was it? Did you remember anything? I did. I was with Aoi, right here, seven years ago. I see. 
So, you knew about my promise to Ali? Yeah, I think it was the next day the two of you told me about it. I didn't know what you guys what you guys promised exactly, but I took a guess. Me and Aoi, huh? Hey, Saki, is Aoi really gone? Ouch. Yeah, Honoku, Kakero, and I were all there to say our final farewells, so I'm sure... Why did Aoi... I heard it was from a fit. Having a fit. Ouch. From a, from a, from a period fit. <laughs> Sounds terrible. Yeah, what does that mean? No. Oh. Do you know why I was discharged from the hospital? That's something we wanted to ask you. The, the day Aoi passed away was the day you disappeared. The same day? Hey, Haruto, could it be that you murdered her? <laughs> mm. Actually, forget about it. Maybe. You said that you remember your memories when you visit different places, right? Come to the I don't remember. I'm... <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, sometimes. It smells all nostalgic, and then I just remember. Then, do you want to go to other places that might trigger your, trigger your memories? They're all inside the hospital, but you might be able to remember something else. Hmm. I think it's a good idea. I think so too, though I don't really want to see more flashbacks. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. Alright! Well then, the first step... Oh, uh, what's going to happen now? I, oh. uh, I guess they were just leading to the rest of the scene. I want to go in the back there, but didn't let me go before. Oh, they're back on the floor somehow. Mm. Saki and I ventured around the hospital for a time. Nothing triggered memories, I guess. Huh. Mm, no luck, huh? We're back at the well. I'm sorry, I can't seem to recall anything. Maybe we walked around a bit too much. Why don't we call it a day, Haruto? He's not going to be Riku, yeah. Oh, wait, weren't you planning to meet Riku? Aha, I completely forgot. I'm so sorry. I mean, I'm sorry. We can always try again tomorrow. Really? That would be great. Uh... I wanted to ask you this before, but Haruto... Hmm? Uh, did... Uh... Yeah? Have you recovered from your condition? Huh? Oh, yeah. I'm fine, I think. I mean, I'm happy. I mean, I'm getting assaulted and <laughs> traveling back in time, but, you know, I'm not sick anymore. Uh, you think? Yeah, I don't feel sick or anything. I knew it! That's great, Haruto, so you're healed. Well, I guess that, I guess that probably was the case. Saki? Did I used to have a heart condition? Yeah, because... Oh, the, the, that's what he found in the records. I forgot. The end of the oh, last right. episode. That he was a heart... Do he was a heart transplant recipient. And Aoi was the person who gave him the heart. Oh, my God. I guess she died and then they... they you know, she was an organ donor and he got his... He got her heart. There's going to be some super cheesy thing like that last Christmas movie where... <laughs> Uh, the the lover dies so they can give their loved one their heart. <clears throat> yeah, so he, he left the hospital when she died because he got healed. That oh my sense. god. You forgot about that too? I mean, I also forgot about it, so... 
Well, a lot's been happening. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember it. I don't remember you or Aoi's illnesses either. I was thinking of asking Riku about that. Oh, I see. Well, it's okay. Let me explain. Aoi, Hon Honoka, and Kakeru all have the same illness called LMD. There are various symptoms, but it mainly makes them weak. I was going to say this conspiracy that was related to this LMD, like everybody that was involved in treating it, like disappeared or lost their memories or something. That's what they were saying huh. before. I really understand. That being said, they used to be so full of energy and didn't look sick at all. Even so, Aoi passed, suddenly passed away, so... Haruto and I have heart conditions. Riku isn't sick or anything. I think that's it. Why well, you call me the Haruto like I'm not standing there? I guess she's a heart condition. Yeah. Mm. She's just talking out loud. <laughs> I see. Do you know if I, if the illness I had gets better naturally? Did you read? I guess you forgot about what, the, the, what you read, but okay. Huh. huh? No way. Medicine might help slow down the symptoms, but it won't cure them. Then how is it cured? Maybe I figured it out, but he didn't figure it out yet. I don't know, but it's yeah. still pretty obvious to me. Yeah. And it's not good when the player is smarter than the character. That uh, <laughs> just gets frustrating. <laughs> hmm. A heart transplant, I guess? I see. Come well, on, you can put it together, Haruto. Yes, no. <laughs> Figure it out, kid. So it's true. I tried not to think about it, but... That surgical record... Are you, are you like, delayed? You seem like you're a little delayed. Oh, sorry, I think I... You're looking at the wrong screen, aren't you? Uh, I, yeah, I might have been sorry. That that surgical record. This heart of mine is. Ruto. Haruto. Huh? What's wrong? Oh, uh. I was just thinking about that time I saved Ali from the well. Huh? It was nostalgic. What are you talking about? Huh? Like I said. The time I helped Aoi out of this well, and we made a promise. He didn't help her out of the well, the, the memory. Yeah. But Haruto... Aoi wasn't the one saved from the well. That was you, remember? Oh, he's changing his memory so he looks better. <laughs> huh? It's confusing. I remember saving Aoi and, write, and writing the promised date on the inside of my hat. Uh, but you don't wear a hat. <laughs> oh, your hat? <laughs> Seen you wear a hat before? Yeah, exactly. So she wasn't wearing a hat then either. <laughs> what? Huh? What? Are you okay, Haruto? Are we going to turn out to be sucky all along? I don't know what the hell's going on here. Hmm. Sure, save progress. Why not? <laughs> Haruto? Y yeah. I'm fine. I'm just not sure I can trust my memories anymore. Let's go visit Honoka and Riku tomorrow. I'm sure Honoka... No, no. Let's go visit Hon Honoka and Riku tomorrow. I'm sure Honoka would love to see you again. Honoka. 
Oh. <laughs> I don't uh, think it's Hanukkah, like the, like the holiday. I think it's like Hanukkah. Han- Han- Hanukkah, probably. Hanukkah. 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 Damn, I can't remember. What's a girl? Oh, if you say that to her, she'll probably cry. Sorry. I'm just kidding around. I'm sure she'll understand once you explain. And you might remember something. Okay, tomorrow then. I don't know how he got her letter distracted, not even to meet Riku. <laughs> yeah, and no, he's completely forgotten. Now he's going to throw his whole timeline off. Yep, see you tomorrow. This is probably going to lead to another another you know, return to Monday, I'm assuming. Yeah, I'm guessing. This was, so we can do the Groundhog Day thing. Yeah. I guess I'll head home. Oh yeah, I have to go to Dr. Ichiki's clinic and get the gift for my parents. Oh. I don't remember that. I was in here regardless. Excuse me, is Dr. Ichiki here today? Oh, you're that kid from yesterday. <laughs> he looks like a brooding teenager with that hair. Yep, he's hair. He's here all the time, morning, day, and night, even during the holiday. Strange guy, huh? Right, but since you're supposed to be closed today, isn't it strange for you to be here as well? Uh, no offense. <laughs> don't worry about it. You got me there. I don't want to be here either, you know to do more than just reception work so that that must be tough sure is by the way you're related oh, that's right now by the way you're related to the doctor right are we I don't know. could you please tell the boss man to ease up ease up on my schedule <laughs> huh oh uh, sure Thanks, buddy. Name's Kadoma, by the way. Uh, right. Get away from the crazy kid. Related? Oh, I guess that's another change. We're secretly turning into someone else. Hello there, Haruto. Ah, uh, right. Hello there, Haruto. Uh, hello, hello there, Haruto. Are you feeling better? Oh, wait, no. God, I'm getting my voices mixed up. Sorry. Hello there, Haruto. Are you feeling better now? I'll get it eventually. Yeah, I'm okay. That's good to hear. You didn't come back yesterday, so I was a little worried. Oh, sorry about that. As long as you're okay. R right, th right then. You were trying to remember things about the past, correct? Have you remembered anything? Uh, yeah. I remembered a bit when I was back at the hospital. I see. I remember... I remember something... I remembered something after our talk yesterday, too. I remembered receiving a present from you and your friend. You two always told me about your adventures around the hospital. Does that bring anything back? Who's the friend? I'm sorry, I remember my friend, but I still don't recall meeting you. That's a shame. Dr. Ichiki, there are, are there other methods to help trigger memories? So we're crackling now on your, on your end, I think. I think it's kind of uh, weird, but I'm not sure. Oh, crap, I'm sorry. Um, do, you, do you have anything like your phone near the mic or something like that? Yeah, that, that, that I do. I'll move it. And you can just tell me what the comments say. Uh, uh, is that changing anything? Uh, A little bit. Oh, uh, God. Let me just uh, try to... Don't worry about it. Let me just disconnect and reconnect and I'll... Oh, you don't, don't worry about it. It's not so bad. Uh, uh, are you sure? 
Yeah. All right. Uh, can you? Uh, actually, you know what? Let me just connect to WeChat because it's getting a little bad actually again. Yeah. Uh, sorry. It's all right. We'll see if it's YouTube. You... Uh, Where is it? You still there? Yeah, I am. I don't know. Uh, is it still? Uh, is it still there? Yeah, but did you disconnect? Yeah, I did. Just Let me just connect you, and I'll call you back. So I want to see if it's even if it's even you. Hang on a second. I'll call you right back. Okay. How do I do this? It's not coming from him, actually. It's, it's from me. It's still going on. What the fuck? Hello, hello. Hello? Uh, hi? It's not you, it's the game. The game is really oh, cracking the noises. Let, let me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to like, uh, after this conversation, try to exit the game and restart it. Okay. Uh, oh, you can't even see it, hold on, let me show it again. Yeah, oh, sorry, uh, you're still running it. Yeah, yeah sorry. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not seeing it. There, there we go. Okay. Some sometimes visiting places you've. Sh Maybe if I turn off the. Oh, no, it's not you. It's not you at all. It's the, it's the game. Okay. Sometimes visiting places you've been to before, or uh, sometimes visiting places you've been to before, reliving past experiences will help. You regain some memories when you visited the hospital. Correct. Yes, I did, but there were times when I remembered and times when I didn't. Are there any differences that you notice between the two? I recall something whenever I I recall something whenever I experience a familiar smell. Let me know if this helps at all. <laughs> <laughs> God, well, it'll recall something. Maybe it's lunch. <laughs> yeah, they do say n nostalgia is linked to smell closely, though. <laughs> a smell. Haruto, do you know about the Proust effect? No. The human brain has an area that keeps our memories and an area that helps us recognize smells. Those two areas are so closely related that we sometimes remember things when we smell a particular scent. We call that pheromone the Proust effect. You... You may have a stronger sense of smell than others. You're like a dog. <laughs> scent, scent and memories. Just knowing about the Proust effect doesn't really help you, of course. St still, thank you very much, Doctor. Doctors really do know everything. <laughs> Not at all. This information is more like trivia. My area of expertise is memory and the brain, but it's been a long time since I was engrossed in it. Actually, the thing that he did that made us, like, like have a weird thing before is he gave us something to smell, if I remember correctly. Huh. Yeah, something about incense? Yeah, something like that. I guess smell is a recurring theme here. Yeah. Oh, I see. Is that why you're here today? To ask me about that? Uh, no. You said that you have something to give my parents. Did I? When did I say that? Oh, right. When did we talk about the gift exchange? Dot, dot, dot. Oh, uh, I didn't actually hear it from you, but just in case you had something. I ah, see. Well, it would be nice if I had something, but these days I don't leave the clinic at all. I suppose that I'm becoming somewhat of a recluse. I thought the other timeline, like, you, you went to visit him and he wasn't there. It was closed and he wasn't there. So this is, the fact that he's saying he's there 24-7 now is a little weird. Oh, uh, yeah. Maybe this is like, it's like Groundhog Day, but in different realities. Jumped universes or something. Yeah, who knows? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's an interesting twist. Uh, jokes uh, aren't really my thing. 
Imagine if there's a thing in the movie, like, anytime someone smelled a fart, they jumped to a different universe or something like that. Yeah, oh, God. Oh, God, that would be very inconvenient. <laughs> yeah. I see. You just... I see. I mean, sorry, I see. So you're going to be in town for a while, right? Until the weekend. Well, feel free to pop by whenever. In between patients, I'm relatively free. I'll also... I'll also prepare something for your parents next time. Okay, thank you. I'll come by again if I can. All right then, take care. Hmm. I swear he said he had something to give my parents the first time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to save the game. The crackling stopped, actually. Oh, yeah, it seems to have. Maybe it's just that rum. What the hell was that? Alright, let's see on top of this one. I was, gonna try to, I was gonna try to exit it and restart it to see if it made the noise go away, but. I do that anyway. I, th I think this, this app is a little bit weird or something. Let me restart it. Mm -hmm. In the game, and I think it's a little bit bugged. Yeah, well, that's the indie charm. Yeah. Oh, violently blow my nose. That wasn't too silent. Mm, I said violently. <laughs> Is it silently? <laughs> Where am I going now? Home? Yes, mm. home. I guess. Wait, can, can I go back to the hospital and look for Riku? Hmm, maybe, yeah. Uh, I get the, the, the sense this game is quite linear, but let's yeah, try they sure, it. They sure lead you around by the nose, don't they? So imagine this, like, uh, this is also the type of game where I can imagine it'd be like, you can do a sequence break if you do XYZ or something, you know what I mean? Like... Yeah, probably. It would be really cool as like a Groundhog Day loop game where you can like just do whatever. Right. There's also this place here, this, this uh, convenience store. I'm going to try to like, go in here now. Is that maybe? Before I was able to go in here, I think. Oh, I'm confused. This is my home. So much happened today. I don't even know what's real anymore. I have to get some answers from Riku tomorrow. It's March 31st. The next day. Okay, I should get going. Float, 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 float. <laughs> this is <what> this guy. <laughs> Haruto. Uh, we're meeting Riku first, right? Yeah. All right, let's go then. Oh, this is sweet. Yeah. Get out of my way, bitch! Yeah. <laughs> you painted strumpet! They didn't stop you? Huh? Last time they said that only family members were allowed. I didn't think I've ever been stopped. I've been here for a long time, so maybe I'm a VIP. I guess so. I feel like all these little small things are going to add up at the end, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Knock, knock! Kakeru! 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 Uh, alright, I'm gonna think of the voice for him. Okay. Uh, hey, Saki chan I brought a Ruto! Huh? 
Her roots have. What? It's really you! Hi, Kakeru. It's been a while. Wow! Long time no see! What are you doing with Saki-chan? Right! Only bumped into him two days ago. I was shocked as well. Hey, Kakeru, is Riku not here today? Big, br big bro was just... Yo! Yo, Saki, and... Huh? Hirodo? Riku, I wanted to see you, but... Wanted to see me? I mean, same here, but... There's something I have to talk to you about. Hey, Haruto, were you, where were you all this time? Hey! It's, o it's okay, Kakeru, let me fill in the gaps for you. I need to confirm something with you. Su Saki-chan? Well... There's two conversations going on at once. This, pl this, pla this place has become so live has become so lively, lively. <laughs> Going to try and keep track of all the voices. I know three people. Oh, Shapper's had these weird times. Yeah, that's a... I guess they're kind of cliffhangers, but it's very odd placement. <laughs> Five moments. What's your I point? told Riku. Character was emphasizing the moments. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> no, that's fine. I told Rico about everything that had happened so far. We got we got Oh, I thought there was, thought there was a flashback for a second. No, no, no. Hmm. It's probably difficult to believe. It's no. probably difficult to believe, but it is, I get I guess, but I have to but I have to. Nobody knew my plan. Nobody knew. Nobody knew my plan to sneak into the basement. Not even Kakeru. There is the possibility that you're working for the hospital and that you're out to get me. You'll just have to trust me that I'm not. Well, you know all the details of what I did and who I talked to. There's no way that you could lock that stuff up. Look that stuff up. Sorry, not lock it up. Look it up. Plus, I've never doubted you. When you recovered, it was Monday night. It was Monday again, huh? I don't remember any of that, so it must only be you. I see. There sure are a lot of mysteries. Returning to Monday, heart transplant surgery records, suspicious files, and being mysteriously attacked. Yeah, I know, it's a lot to take in. Hey, Riku, do you know about Aoi and myself making a promise by the well? Huh? Nah, don't drag your love life into this. <laughs> Maybe that happened after I left the hospital. Right. I know you have a lot I know you have a lot in your mind, Haruto, but for now let's focus on the hospital's dishonest practices. If what you're saying is correct, there must be something shady going on here. Yeah. Everyone's very quick. Everyone's very quick to believe him. Yeah, well, it's true, but I mean, this game probably would be like really weird if they didn't believe him. I, I want to go refill my soda. I'll be right back. Okay, give me a sec. I'll I'll refill mine as well. Uh, but I'll just right, hang on a second for us. We'll both be right back. Both be right back, folks.
Ah, sorry about that. Are you back? Yeah, I'm back. Okay. okay. Yeah, sure. Let's focus on the hospital for now. All right. Where do we go from here? To try to break into the basement again. Yeah. You didn't manage, except bringing gum this time. You didn't manage to read the document you said I found, right? Right, although you did say that Kikeru's name was on the list of victims. I see. You haven't spoken to Saki about these surgical records, have you? I told her about the basement, but not what we saw or why we were there. It's kind of hard to tell her. I don't want to get her involved in this. Hmm. In that case, let's make an effort to not an effort not to give her any information. Yeah, that's fine. How come? Well, for the same reason, I don't want to drag her in any trouble. Don't believe him. Yeah. Oh yeah, no. He's Okay. <laughs> Maybe he's hiding something too. Hey, he's out of bed. Hey, Haru oh, Hey, Haruto. Sorry. Haruto. Sorry. Uh, hey, Haruto, big bro, what are you guys talking about over here? It's a secret. What? It won't do any harm to tell me. Haru Haruto, is it true that you don't really remember that much about me? I'm sorry. Don't worry. You were like another brother to me. I'm sure you'll remember me in no time. I'll do my best. I'll try my best, Kakeru. That's the spirit. <laughs> hey guys, I'm gonna go I'm gonna pay her ha Hanukkah a visit. Hanukkah. Hon Hanukkah. Well, which one? Hanukkah. Hanoka, a visit. Do you want to come with me? Sure, sure. You say, you sure you're okay, Kakeru? <clears throat> I'm fine. I'm not sleepy at all today. If you say so. I'll be here a bit longer. I have some things to think about. Well, Naruto, you, def you definitely have to go. Hanukkah will be so happy, will be so surprised. I will get that right eventually, I swear to God. <laughs> knock, knock, Hanukkah, guess who? Hanukkah, Hanukkah, guess Hanuka. who? Hanukkah. Hanukkah, Hanukkah. 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 No, no, Hanukkah. Hanukkah, Hanukkah. 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 Uh, okay, emphasize the no, I got it. Yeah. Um, all right. Saki, come in. Kakeru's here today too. Hey, Honachan, no, long time no see. <laughs> well, as long as two days can be. We actually have a guest today. Guess who it is? Uh, hmm. I wonder who. It's a girl, by the way. No, in case you forgot. Oh, right. Uh, hmm. Uh, hmm. I wonder who. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's the first. Oh, well, it looks like it suits her anyway. Ah! What? Haruto? Could, can it be? Hey, it's been a while. Wow. Long time no see. I'm glad you're doing well. Do you want me to do Hanoka's voice? You don't like kill your throat? <laughs> <coughs> um, 
Computers. If you want to, sure. Uh, you know, I'm fine. I'm okay. fine. You know, I uh, want to be useful for something. <laughs> what have you been doing all this time? I, uh, I, I can explain that. Uh, I can do that by myself. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> well, first of all... She left for the meantime. Yeah. You didn't get to tell the story. <laughs> <laughs> I see. So you don't really remember much about me? It's, a, it's okay, Honor-chan. I'm sure he'll remember soon enough. Yeah. It's Haruto, right? So it should be fine. Hey, Kikeru, come give me a hand. Could you fart for me, Hodo-chan, so I can remember you? <laughs> Let me smell your oh, pits. Like frozen here. Oh, boy. Hello? Uh, hello? Can you oh, hear me? I hear you. I, the, the game's not doing anything. Yeah, oh, I can walk around. Sight. Okay. I, I, what the? Can uh, we interact with her? That was weird. It's been a really long time, Haruto. I was like, it's really been a long time, Haruto. <laughs> it's really been a long time, Haruto. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've certainly grown in seven years. Yeah, I think I grew a lot taller. That isn't what I meant, Haruto. Yes, you've got a big dick. Lucky you, I've gone, w I've gone kind of weaker. <laughs> Haruto, do you go to school outside? Yeah, it's spring break now, though. Do, do you have many friends there? Yeah, I do. Uh, popular. Right, that's good. I don't think I can make any friends. You'll be fine. You'll make friends soon enough. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, Haruto. Hmm? I know I shouldn't say this so suddenly, but... I love you, Haruto. Oh my god, I love Triangle. I'm not going to be around for much longer. There's a lot of sick kids in this. What? Honoka, I'm sure you're going to be... Hono Honoka. Hon Honoka. I, uh, I know, I'm sure you're going to be... God, it's like that... Cut! That word. Take it from the top. Hon Page 17. No, I'm just kidding. Go ahead. No, it's fine. Hono Honoka. No, it's fine. I'm a little scared, but I'll be okay. Honoka. There are some things I worry about. I've never done anything to make Saki cry. I want to do that before I die. <laughs> it's the only thing I'm really proud of. But when I'm gone, she'll cry. If that happens... I'll lose the thing I'm most proud of. That's pretty weird. Yeah, I guess that's what kids think about. That makes me really sad. She's a teenager, not a kid. I mean, well, she's probably okay. in a hospital her whole life. Yeah. Who showed up? I wonder why. I feel so sad. You just said why. Yeah. Maybe she's losing her memory too. When, when, I, when, when Oe, AOE died, it was Saki who cried the most. I know she acts all cheerful, but she gets lonely really easily. I'm going to meet Aoi again, but Saki will be all alone. She can make internet friends. Hey, Ruto, will you do something for me? <laughs> Hey, well, hey, Lewis. Back your voices is totally making me tear up. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's a it's a decently effective scene. It is. Um, what is it? 
I want you to take Saki outside this hospital. Take her how? How do you mean take her? Uh, kidnap her. Stuff her in a body. I, 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 I didn't think it would kidnap. All right, go ahead. <laughs> throw, steal an ambulance, throw her in the back. But... I can feel it. Saki is going to get better and she'll be able to leave. When that happens, she's going to need a guide, right? So I want you to be that guide. Is that okay with you? You're asking a liar. Yeah, seriously. Sure, when Saki gets better. You'll be dead by this, don't worry. All right, that's promise. It is. Making a lot of promises, kid. <laughs> That's good to know. I won't have any regrets then. Honoka. 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 Honoka, you have a terrible name. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding around. It's my dark humor. Hey, what are you two talking about? It's a secret. What? You can't keep secrets from me. There's a lot of people here. <laughs> hey, Hiroto, got a minute? Sure. So long, suckers. I talked to my friend Riku. So, about what we discussed earlier. What's wrong, Hiroto? You look kind of sad. Riku, her illness. I'm guessing she told you. Hanukkah's illness worse. Ha Hanukkah's illness has worsened a lot. Her lungs are so weak; it's tough for her to get up. I don't. I don't know. For seven years, I was. Hey, hey! It's not your fault. And who knows, her sickness might get better. I've been digging through, uh, digging up with this hospital has been trying to hide. That's why I've been digging up. That's why I've been digging up. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Sorry, is, is, it, is it crackling again? Because like, I... It's not cracking, but you, occasionally you drop out for like a second. Yeah, sorry, I'm sorry. Just, uh, Honoka and Kakeru have the same illness. Honoka and Kakeru have the same illness. That's right. Yeah, I see. So, about what we talked about. Yeah, it is crackling again now. I don't know. I don't, it's not with the game. It's not you. It's not through the game. I know, because I had my phone close for a moment there, so I might have caused it somehow. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. What about it? What, what about it? I was thinking. I should go to the basement again, I guess. Yeah, that's a good idea. You go get beaten up. <laughs> we might be we might be able to discover more information. Right now, we don't have any proof of what the hospital is doing. Your statements alone won't prove anything. Right. Let's sneak in together. Uh, let's sneak in together again and get the documents. This time, we'll know where to look. Where what to look for. So. Haruto? Haruto? Huh? Oh, I'm going alone. Uh, Why are you going alone? Just for the heck of it? Yeah, seriously. I can respawn, apparently. So I should go with you. Yeah, right. <laughs> I can respawn. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. What? What? Why? It's simple. You said that you were attacked by someone and lost consciousness, right? Yeah? And you know where the files are, right? Well, the general area. The smartest thing to do is get in, quickly get what we need, and then get out. The basement is, the basement is bound to have security cameras. 
So even if we went together, it would just result in your identity being discovered. But I've ha but I've been down there before, so it makes sense for me to go. Nah, I need you to act as the sentry. I don't, I don't, I don't agree either. Sentry. I need you to keep an eye out for the guys who will go after me. That way, even if I fail, we'll know we'll know who it was that attacked us. That makes sense. Yeah. Wouldn't that mean you'll be caught? Yeah. Well, if that happens, just report it to, to the police or something. What if they don't trust me? Then just time travel back to Monday, I guess. <laughs> you can do that, right? What if, what if I can't? Uh, we give up. Riku. <laughs> well, can't be helped. If we don't do any, if we don't, if we don't do anything, then we won't discover anything. And if we do the same thing again, we'll just get the same outcome. This is something the me from yesterday couldn't do. Since I was alone. It's not true, though. If they go a different time, they go a completely different outcome. Yeah, seriously. But now you're here, Haruto. You probably can't tell, but that makes me really happy. Well, let's see if it works. It will. It can't be a coincidence that you went back in time. It must be fate. For sure, there are good things to come. Like, after you said that, like, some guy should come and, like, shoot him with a shotgun or something. <laughs> yeah. Just... Uh, just time travel. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, I'll get ready. Let's meet in 20 minutes in Kakeru's room. Oh. Oh, right. Just in case you return to Monday again, I'll tell you a secret of mine. What do you mean? If you know something that only I know, then I'll believe you faster w when we meet again. You believed him immediately already. <laughs> I see. Well, there's a long, like, you know, there's a long, like, you know, hours later type of thing. You know how long it took. <laughs> yeah. So what's the secret? I'm sorry, Haruto. I've actually... eaten gravy fried rice without you. Uh... That was the thing in the first game, they said they were eating gravy... The first stream, they said they were eating gravy fried rice together or some nonsense like that. <laughs> oh my god. What? Uh, who cares? It's about time. Is that the room? It's out there. Dear, dear Haruto. I'm sorry for tricking you like this. I'm sorry for tricking you like this, but it's best for me to go alone. If I can get the documents we need, I'll hide them in the flower pot on the first floor. If I get caught, you can find the documents there. What? Riku! Oh, he's gonna run down there and ruin it. Oh, oh, no. I told, I told Haruto that it'd be easy, but I'm so nervous. Park you was gonna get this, I think. Oh, nice. But it is an interesting, it is an interesting concept. Let's do this. Leroy Jenkins. My Rico. Oh, we're, What's going on here? Oh, we're playing as Rika now, I guess. I gotta hurry. Yeah, I'm controlling Riku. Nice. Why does he know where to go? It should be here. Reports. More reports. Got it! Report into LMD and illegal activities in Nishita Nishikata Hospital. This is it! It's just as you said, Haruto. I can worry about the contents after I get out of here. 
He is not going to get out of there. I'll hide the files here. Now. I guess this is it for me. Good thing I didn't bring Haruto along. It's up to you now, Haruto. It's probably better if you brought Haruto along. If we make Haruto go back to the mud day, I don't know. Yeah. Who's that dude? I have to go. Now we're the most of the year, Haruto. Security just escorted out someone who was trespassing in an employee only area. Sorry, employee only area. Was it hospital security? I think so. Why are you telling me this? You I just, see. You just tell us every random person that walks by. Yeah. Well, she doesn't have much to do. Hey. Why did you ask that? Oh, uh, I'm just interested. I guess he asked her. Yeah. Is that so? Dot, dot, dot. It's the same report from before. It's really a bit of a mistake to ask the receptionist. Hmm. Riku? R uh, Riku. I should, go I should go find him. No, I can't. I have to check the report first. Go to the bathroom and check it or something. Yeah, seriously. I, I thought that guy was going to come in from off screen again, the same guy. He just lives there. Uh, <laughs> it's no use. I can't understand a thing. Too many medical terms are used. Take it down to Ishika. Yeah. I don't have much time. <laughs> Maybe Dr. Ichika could help. Ichiki could help. I think Ichiki is probably a bad guy or something. Mm, maybe. He's very cheeky. Ichi. What's this person doing? He's very, he's very itchy. Hmm. Deja vu. Yeah, deja vu is right. Yeah. Talk to back again, huh? Yeah, it's Dr. Ichiki here. He's on break at the moment, but he should be in his room as usual. Well, just let me walk back there then. Yeah, seriously. That was useless dialogue. Hello there, Haruto. Have you remembered anything else? Uh, Doctor, I need your help with something. Oh. <laughs> Papa's like, you stole my recipe for 11 herbs and spices. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 11, 11 herbs and spices of memory loss. <laughs> I'd like to, I'd like you to take a look at this. What? This is... Let, let me explain. I told Dr. Ichika about, Riku, about Riku's suspicions and how we discovered the documents. I see. So you decided to bring this report to me. Doctor, do you think Riku will be okay? Well, he may be in police custody. I can't say for sure. I see. So, from that report, is it true that the hospital is hiding something? Well, yes, it does state that they have... That state some things that they have covered up. It does? We might be able to save Kakeru and, and Honoka with this. Uh, uh. Doctor? Doctor? 
Haruto, you understand that confronting the hospital about this report won't cure your friends, right? You stupid idiot. <laughs> well, yes, I guess it won't be as easy as that. Maybe we could go to the police or take it to the press or something. That will not cure your friends either. Haruto, let me be clear. It doesn't work that way. Then what are we supposed to do? I'm going to kill you, Haruto. <laughs> I have an idea. If it works, we could bring to light the injustices of the, injustices of the hospital and re reassess the treatment of LND. What do I have to do? I mean, just to say something for a second, like, they're focusing so much about this hospital, whatever, blah, 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 but, like, if I was Haruto, I'd be much more interested in how I went back in time. Yeah, seriously. Like, That's, like, way I'd, more interesting. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'd possibly travel to an alternate universe. Yeah, right. I'd be like, I mean, fuck my friends, I'm gonna go to the big city and, like, fucking make a, <laughs> make a fortune on the Las Vegas Strip or something. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> First, first of all, do you know your idea? Do you know why your idea won't work? Because the police won't believe us. That's not right. He's, he's, he has proof. Yes, but that's not the only reason. Will the hospital try and stop us? Of course. That's possible, but there is something else to consider. The hospital's influence. The reliability of this evidence and the court costs are no small matter. But more than all of that, there's one critical issue. I'm about to kill you. There is? Yes. Time. <sighs> Even if your idea worked brilliantly, Haruto, it would still take years until we saw any change. Yes? That won't do, will it? So you're, so you're saying that your idea won't take that long? Your idea won't take that long? There's a possibility. Please tell me, what should I do? I'll tell you. But on certain conditions. Conditions? Firstly, no matter who is asking, you can never disclose that I'm involved. Okay, I'll keep that a secret. The second condition. Actually, before that, Haruto, there's something I want to confirm with you. Huh? What is it? Hmm. I didn't expect to be asking this. Huh? Are you? Uh, uh, time loot. What? How did you lead to that conclusion? <laughs> well, I, I don't know, but. Maybe. Oh, maybe it's in the medical report. Yeah, maybe it's in the medical report. They figured out how to make people. Okay, well. So just see. Okay. Uh. I I noticed the way you were acting on Monday, so I had an inkling. <laughs> that's, you were that's, showing. That's the first thing that comes to mind that he's time leaping. <laughs> <laughs> You were acting a bit weird, so clearly you were defying the laws of time and space. <laughs> you came back then. You came back then, didn't you? How did you know? That dodgy medicine. <laughs> I see. I knew it. I knew I was right. Doctor? Oh, don't worry. I'm just happy that my suspicions were confirmed. Happy? More importantly, how did you know? 
Jim says that dodgy medicine is my excuse for sticking up, sticking up a room. Well, this guy too, <laughs> a room stuck, stuck before the game. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, how he get, uh, he's getting all these flashbacks. Did you cause it? That's right. I was the one who made your time leap, I think. I'm surprised that you hadn't pieced it together by now. <gasps> mm -hmm. it's okay. Well, I'm well, that doesn't... We do. No, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, just... Well, that doesn't matter. Is there anything you want to ask me? Yeah, like, what the fuck is going on? That's what I want to ask you. Yes, how the fuck did you... How the <laughs> fuck did you make this groundbreaking technology? <laughs> I have so many questions. How did I time? How did I time leap and how? <laughs> I have so many questions. Like how and how and how and how. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's the same question. That's so stupid. How did I time leap and how? <laughs> I have two questions, and they are the same. <laughs> I mean, time leaping, is such a thing even possible? <laughs> of course. You're walking proof of that, no? As for why... You didn't ask why, you just asked how twice. <laughs> After he passed away, I took over my father's research into time leaping and into eleven Hertz passes. And I've always wanted to attempt a practical experiment. He just randomly drugged me? Yeah. An asshole. Yeah. I needed a human guinea pig and you were just kind of around. Yeah, you showed Miss, up. What the hell? You showed up, which gave me the perfect opportunity to do so. Why I is that? It's just all the time. Why did I, I, I give an opportunity? Uh, I don't care about these you out-of-towners. <laughs> you could have just experimented on yourself. Why did it have to be me? Sure, that would be very ethical either. I would have loved to do it myself. Oh yeah, I bet. Unfortunately, only certain children are able. Basically, what I'm saying is I performed unsanctioned experiments on children. <laughs> sure, you won't go to the authorities. You happen to be one of those. Jim wants to know what southern town is a cheeky from. He sounds like a proper southern gentleman or Colonel Sanders. That, that's what we're going for, Jim. Dory, yes. Dorian is doing the voices here. Yes, I hope it's I hope it's not too annoying. Um, I do apologize for experimenting with you without your permission. Oh, that's okay. Experimenting on you, not with you. Experimenting with. I don't said with, with, but it should be on. Yeah, no, his, his grammar is not good. I can't say for sure how it happened, but there must be a reason. How exactly am I special? What even is time leaping? You just. Go back in time? How can that be? You still can't believe it, but you experienced it. Your name is not really Haruto, it's really Dr. Sam Beckett. Oh my. Is that a reference I don't get? Quantum Leap. Oh right, I've never seen that. Good show. I, d I don't expect you to easily accept the fact that you can travel back in time. <laughs> Jim's making fun of the dialogue. What, what, even, what even is time leaping? And what is it even? <laughs> what is it even? And how is it? And how? And how? <laughs> if this were to get out, it could be disastrous. Hmm, that sounds like you can get a Nobel Prize. I need you to swear, Haruto, that you will never talk about this to anyone else. Then... If I was Haruto, I'd be like, what's in it for me? Yeah, seriously. So you developed this groundbreaking technology and now you just want to hide it? Tell me the truth! How am I special? What was your father trying to achieve by time leaping? Stop right there, Haruto. I have a second condition, remember? Oh yeah, that was ages ago. You will not ask about the experiment's purpose or speak about it to any others. Like, screw you, Ichiki. You're going to tell me right now, or I'm going to the, the, the newspapers, the cops, and I'm telling you molested me, and you also experimented on me. That's it. Yeah, seriously. But I that... didn't molest you. Oh, well, that did, that's me you're to prove, because my wire word against yours. Your business will be over. Unless you tell me right now, tell me exactly what I want to know. Yeah, travel to an alternate timeline where you did molest me. <laughs> Lastly. This guy's real balls. 
<laughs> you seriously got it. There's only two you... conditions, not three. Yeah, seriously. You, you experimented. He's totally, he... he's totally, like, taking advantage of children here. Yeah, seriously. If like... Rudo agrees to this, only because he's an adult and he's being taken advantage of. I mean, the, 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 con the like, end of the game had better be that he's one of the bad Clearly, just. He's clearly an asshole. Maybe the end of the game is that this guy will be like, he'll end up like dying like in the movie Time Cop or like he touches himself or something. Oh my god. <laughs> Jim says a technology that can only zap children through time doesn't seem very practical. <laughs> yeah, seriously. What like what are the kids gonna do? Well, they didn't explain Go it. They're not gonna explain it. I guess like it's like it's like you promise not to ask any more questions. Like what the hell? Yeah. So is 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 it gonna turn out that his experiments were literally just so the game could have this time travel mechanic and they're not related to the rest of the story at all? It can't be. It has to be related. No, it has to, because I... Uh, otherwise, this is going to get be very annoying. Yeah. Um, lastly, you will continue to be my test subject. You will not report this to the authority. What? How about it? These are my conditions. Like, F you. Yeah, dude, you're, you're a complete asshole. What? Wait, you're test subject? To begin with, let's get, let's get you, let's get you back to go back to Monday again. I mean, he could, he could theoretically agree to it, and then after he time skips, he could be like, what do you mean I never agreed to anything? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> then, you can, then you can tell me that you have let through time. Let's start with that. That means that I've that I've already been your test subject. Well, he said continue. It is a start. Yeah. I said you were not to ask about the purpose. He didn't. You got me into this mess in the first place, and you're not going to tell me anything about it. That's because we weren't fully aware of the situation the first time around. Oh shit! You know what he should do? He should agree to go back to Monday, and then, if, then when he gets there, he should be like. All right, I did what you asked. Now you promised it. To, you promised to tell me every single thing about this experiment. I did. I promised that. Yeah, you did. You know that, that's what you, that's what that's what you should do in theory. Yeah, seriously. But you probably not smart enough to think of that. Yeah, <laughs> I'm kid. I would not want to experiment with you without your permission. You literally or, did. Is that is <laughs> what you did. It's like Doctor Robotnik or something. I. Can others help me perform the time leap? No, I'm the only person who can enable time leaping. I'm sure of that. Yeah, how do you know? I got this shit patented. <laughs> uh, if that's the case... Why does he need to go back anyway in time? What does it require now? I don't know. Calm down, Haruto. You might be a test subject, but there are no disadvantages for you in this. Mm -hmm. yeah. If it succeeds, you get to return to Monday. If not, no harm is done. Why don't I want to return to Monday? Except for the unsanctioned medication I found you, <laughs> which is almost certainly destroying your body. Jim says, yes, there are surely no disadvantages for an unwilling test subject. <laughs> no, obviously. The ability to go back in time will prove very advantageous to you, especially in your current situation, correct? You get Riku out of trouble, that's the only advantage. Yeah, that's literally all, it, all you can do. I still think I got the short end of the stick. You did, but I guess I have no choice. You have, you have a choice. Hmm, just, he already gave you the medication. Hmm. If I if I go along with this, what amazing plan are you going to come up with? I'll tell you that afterwards. Well, I can't say for sure that it will be amazing. But Haruto, what if I were to tell you that I know who took Riku? Uh -huh. How could you know that? Because I'm the bad guy in this game, haven't you figured out yet? Yes. <laughs> I mentioned that I used to work at the hospital. Did he run into his younger self or something? Well, things happened. Things? <laughs> well. <laughs> Jimmy Kidd sent himself through time and it works on kids, remember? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Just like you, I try to bring the injustices of the hospital to light by doing injustices of my own. No way! It didn't end the way I wanted it to. I failed. 
That was when I discovered the person who took Riku away. Maybe he's Riku's older self. <laughs> oh my god. I see. Then, Dr. Ichiki, let's do this. Together. N together, right. That bit. The only thing I can do is support you. Oh, that's all right. There are other matters I have to work on for the time being. Like what? <laughs> for the time leaping experiment? No, for my tea. Haruto, I, Haruto, I require that you do not ask me any questions about the experiment. Right. He took. If, if I was Haruto, this conversation would be going down totally differently. Yeah, seriously. I'd be the be the share of this guy right now, probably. I will go to the fucking cops and tell them you fed me unsanctioned meds unless you tell me fucking everything. Yeah, exactly. So what will you do? Will you agree to cooperate with me and learn the identity of Riku's abductor? Hmm. Wait. What am I supposed to do after you've revealed their identity to me? That will be up to you. But you'll be in a better situation than you are now. My current situation, Miku has been taken away, and the only lead I have is the report. Can I think about it for a moment? Have I got a choice? Oh my god, is this going to be like a diverging path? Of course, but you cannot leave this room. What the hell? I'm home. Yeah. Well, it's about as ethical as everything else he's done. Yep, there he is locking you in here. What's the deal? He's a good talk to him. Have you decided? Yes. Please, tell me who took Riku. So you are willing to cooperate with me in this experiment? Well, I guess we don't get a choice. Yes, but I also have a condition. If the experiment fails, you'll still help me find Re- That is only fair. I promise. First, tell me everything you did from Monday to Wednesday, first time around. Why? Uh, yeah, that's a weird point. Of course, I didn't tell you about that. Yeah, why do you need to know that? Well, to begin... Uh, I told Dr. Dr. Ichiki everything that happened. I see. So the first time around, you guys snuck in together and were ambushed by somebody. Hmm. Okay, I understand. Oh, sorry, I've forgotten the voice. Okay, I understand. Well, then, let's send you back to your third Monday. Huh? Why are you surprised? You said you were going to co cooperate, correct? Yeah, I did, but... Immediately? Yes, right away. There's some choices, but it's not, Jim, but it's not that many. Yeah, it's not much. It's a pretty linear game. But the report that Riku got... You can... You can get that whenever you need it. Uh, how? And, and if you were retur to return to Monday, Riku wouldn't get caught in the first place, would he? I don't understand this. No, I don't. I, this is very confusing. How That's is he, true. How is this... I guess the only way he can, he can learn anything from this is if I keep telling him what's happening. Because otherwise, like, his, like, timeline resets... Yeah, he so can, we're gonna he have can, to. Keep... He can't learn anything from sending me back in time, really. Yeah, we're gonna have to keep explaining stuff to him. Right. He's. You still haven't told me who attacked us. You play really dumb. You. Oh my God! You can ask the other me after you turn to Monday. That's his way of ensuring that we actually tell him. I guess. Why can't you tell me now? Think of it as insurance for getting you to actually go through the arrangement. Oh, you were right. Go through with the arrangement. 
Jim says, my son brought me Slay the Princess as a part series, part Joni Holiday gift. I might have fan visual novels, but a truly ludicrous number of choices. You might want to do a playthrough of that. I heard about that, but I don't have it. I'll, I'll check a look, take a look at it, Jim. But, you want to back out already? Because I will stop more condition. drugs. I'm in a condition. I want to kick you in the balls before you send me back in time. Yeah, well, like, don't awesome. worry, you won't feel it because you're gonna be, you, it's gonna be times in a reset anyway. Actually, yeah. I want to castrate you before you go back in time. That's my I'm gonna go back. To, I'm gonna go back to Monday and kick your balls so hard. Then no, no, I, I, I want to castrate you. Now. Yeah, I want to castrate you now, Doctor Cheeky, and then you send me back in time. If you're so sure it's gonna yeah. work, it won't make a difference anyway, right? <laughs> That's nice. Let's show him his balls when you arrive. No, I've made up my mind. I'll do it. Excellent. Now then. Oh, the phone is ringing. Okay. Okay, it could wait, I'm sure. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, I see. Okay. I understand. Dr. Evil Haruto. Your friend, Kakeru, has experienced a seizure and is in a coma. Why'd they call him? Yeah, seriously. They don't know the cause, but his life is in danger. Huh? Uh, what? But why? Someone from the hospital will be here soon. There is no time to explain right now. We have to hurry, Haruto. Wait, wait a minute. I'd like to, but if someone comes in, you won't be able to return to Monday. What? Why? I don't know. So, so. Kakeru. Okay, I'll do it. All right, this way. We're leaving the office. Please, climb in this. Oh, he, I didn't have to do anything like this before. Why would I do it now? Yeah, seriously. What the hell? What's this about? I'm not climbing in there. Is he crazy? Uh, what is that, a giant, like, infant, infant, iso <clears throat> infant isolation tank or something? What? Let me explain. You will return to Monday, but it will only be your consciousness. What? Huh? Heck, before it wasn't only my consciousness. Yeah, no, it worked out fine last time. Instead of returning in person, we will be sending your current memories back to back to the you that exists on Monday. Well, do you All right, you so send me in person. Yeah, but I guess that because they didn't do that last time, he lost his memory. But no, he still remembered going back. Yeah. Yeah. Ten seconds after I press this button, you'll lose consciousness. Your memories will be sent back in a few minutes. Oh. It will it will feel like suddenly jumping back in time after losing consciousness. Well, that's because that's what you're doing. I don't understand this are you? Are you ready? Yes. I would, yes. I would. I would have climbed in there for all the money in the world. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pressing the button. That's kind of crazy. Give my, give me regards to me from Monday. You? No, that is weird. Who sends, who sends themselves regards? Phew. He'll be here soon. Hello there. Long time no see. Who's that? Oh, I don't know. Dr. Ichiki, it's been a while. What the fuck? Given. What? No, this is just getting. This what is just going really. On? I don't know. This got really convoluted out of nowhere. Do you want to watch what we'll do one more chapter? 
Yeah, if you're keen to. I'll do one more only because like I've it's like two hours, but like what the fuck's going on here? Mm -hmm. What happened here? Ruto. Haruto. Wait a second. Ah! So the person that came from the hospital was Kakeru? So he lied about everything? I don't understand what's going on here. I really don't. There's a lot of... Are you okay? You seemed a little out of it. Did I really return? Haruto? Are you alright? Didn't return. You're like in a tank. Yeah. Hmm. Doctor Chiki, there's something I need to tell you. You should lie completely about the conditions. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. So the the other you said you give me. You cut out. Give me what? Uh, give me all the medic, the time travel medication for and, free, and, and all, and all your money in your bank account. Yeah. Uh, just everything. <laughs> I told Dr. I Ichiki that this was my third Monday and everything else. I uh, see. So when you heard that Kikara was in a coma, you decided to come back to today? No, that was just an incidental. <laughs> yes. No, you decided that already. You just heard it in the... Yeah. All right. Why would you... Why would you be contacted about Kikeru, Doctor? Do you know him? Yes, I do know Kakeru. But if I was contacted, they were most likely inquiring about you or the document you had. Not true. Perhaps they already knew you were here. Well, they keep tabs on me. I told you about that as well, didn't I? No, I did. No. Yeah, you mentioned that you tried to do the same thing as the same thing as us. That's right. I think that was around the time when I first met you. Uh oh. Hmm? What's the matter? You said you didn't remember much about me. That's right. For you, it was a long time ago. But you... You do remember, right? There's one, uh, sorry, there is one thing that's bugging me. I had a heart condition in the past and Aoi gave me her heart, gave me her heart in a transplant to save my life. Is that the truth? Did your friends tell you about your condition? Yeah, they did. I uh, see. What makes you think it was a heart transplant? Actually, when I stuck into the basement, I saw a surgical record along with the report. My friend also said that my condition could only be cured with a transplant. A, sur a surgical record, huh? Hmm. Haruto, even if you did go through with that con procedure, the donor is never disclosed, and it is and is kept confidential information. Yeah, it was confidential. We found it. Yeah. It could be like you said. All the truth may be different. Regardless, you're here and you're healthy. I wouldn't trust anything this guy says. He's obviously a pathological no, liar. Mm -hmm. That's true. Mm. But. But. Doctor, do you, do you know why Aoi passed away? I know that Aoi was suffering from LMD as well, but why would you want to know? Well, why do I not want to know? Um, yeah, seriously. Because... Okay. I think I understand what you're thinking. You've lost your memories. It's no surprise that you would feel anxious. 
Of course, if you really want to know the truth, it would be better to find yourself the, the find it yourself than to ask somebody about it, well, especially you. Yeah, right. Hearing about it from someone may replace your memory. Um, so that's how it works. <clears throat> while you are, while you may be satisfied with that, that's those aren't your own memories, but somebody else's. They're fake. If you really want to know, you could ask your parents. My parents. Yes. At any rate, your memories seem to be slowly returning, so there's no need to rush. Whether you rem remember or not, what has happened won't change. That's true. He said hey, the last. Well, we went off topic there, okay, so let's get back. Uh, sorry? I said, I'm getting tired too, by the way. So after this probably the last chapter for tonight. Okay. Uh, so let's get back to what we were talking about. And maybe ask him who attacked you? Right. Right. Yeah, right. Who, it's, here we go. You were going to tell me who who attacked us and took Riku. You're like, how the fuck should I know? <laughs> <laughs> of course. I was just lying to you. <laughs> I'm kind of a I'm kind of an asshole. <laughs> Haruto, it was, oh god, we're gonna be dramatic. A man named, a man named Ish, Ishichu, Ish, Ishiuchi, Ishiuchi. <laughs> Who? He's head of security at the, he's head of security at the security company, hired by, hired by Nishikata Hospital. Oh, that's a great, what's a great deduction there? <laughs> so, so, uh, see. How is that information helpful at all? Not at zero. Yeah. Oh yeah, you was you were stopped by the security by by the guys in charge of security right. at the hospital. We could have like put that together ourselves. Yeah. He's usually on the he's usually on the fifth floor on the medical wall. By the way, this has been bothering me since the beginning of this game. Like, has he been eating his desk, this guy? Uh, I why, don't know. I think. I, why is the desk like have big bites of them? I think I've seen desks like that. The idea is that you can like, put, you can. Push your chair closer to it so you're like. I mean, it seems yeah. logical. I've never actually seen a desk like that. Yeah, I think they exist. It's just, you know, <sighs> posh, posh people like fancy desks. Pirate Game Boy says, I forget, how did you stumble upon this game again? I don't know, I heard about it online. Yeah. Yeah, you find the, the most obscure stuff. Here's. You want, just let's, I, let's. I'll choke. Like, ah. Here's what I got in the mail yeah. today. I got Sp Spider Man and Friends. Well, some of them they took a bite out of it. You can't see it, can you? Uh, no, because I'm. On the to see it, but it's okay. You... Yeah. Spider Man. I'll and check Friends. it out. Later. I never know what it is, but it looks interesting. I got this like the other day. This is an old. Oh, look, this is like a, a classic. Lord of the Rings, shrink wrapped. Uh, the Babbage's sticker on it. Lord of the Rings, oh. the Ed CD ROM edition. And then I picked up also. A couple uh, of trivia games. I love trivia oh. games. Master trivia and entertainment trivia. And uh, also two more edition, two more uh, tapes of the Adventure of the Month series from Softside. February 1982 and January 1982. Yeah, hell yeah, it's entertainment trivia. Anyway, that's so... <sighs> I don't know. See how long I live to get to every single game that we've ever that, that, I, that I own. But anyway, back to this one. Sorry about that. Okay, no, it's fine. It's fine. Um, <clears throat> he's usually on the fifth floor of the medical ward. Got it. That's all. That's so unhelpful, you dumb ass. <laughs> Seriously. All right, now go and confront a grown man. There should be like a button I can press like, to, to jump on him and like claw his eyes out. Yeah. And then, and then I'll be like, I mean, like, ah, ah, like, listen, send me back in time to before this happened. Your eyes will be back. <laughs> Seriously. So you only go, you're only going to tell me his name? Give me a fucking gun. <laughs> oh. That was the deal, wasn't it? God, this guy's an asshole. Well, yes, but. Dot, dot, dot. Ah! It's... I can't believe I trusted this douchebag. Harut. 
Haruto? Haruto? Sorry, I'm just so confused. Yeah, I understand me. Yeah, I'm very confused. <laughs> I came here to find out more about the promise I made. It seems like thing... there's a bit more going on than that now. I thought that maybe there was something special about it. But after going around, it's far more than special. Close friends I forgot, a dead girl, a heart disease, friends still with illnesses. Time jumping. Um, time <laughs> jumping, cover-ups at the hospital to ease he meant helicopter. Those last. That's the last one time you Yeah. I haven't solved a single thing and more problems keep popping up. I just don't know what's going on anymore. Well, I think we all feel the same way here, Rudo. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> well, it's much easier to follow <laughs> until just now. Even so, everything was fine until now. I always had something to do next, like Riku pointing me in a certain direction. Just like, just now, too. He told me that I should go back to Mondays, Monday, so I did. But now... You're unsure of what to do. Oh, it's highlighting how linear the game has been. Yeah, why? Just go back to Riku. <laughs> Yes. I just want to help them, Kakeru and Honoka. I want my memories back, too. I really do. But there's just too much all at once. Why don't you go outside for some air? You should sit on the bench in the hospital garden and take in the greenery. So you, you don't know what to do right now? I'll tell you exactly what to do. Yeah. <laughs> Your problems won't go away, but you'll have to, some time to think about it all. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll go process everything that's happened. Come on. All this reality-crushing technology. Some time to think, huh? Think about how I'm gonna cut his balls off. Yeah, I agree. Worrying won't solve anything. I guess I'll have to tackle things one at a time. Ishi, 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 huh? Phew. The weather sure is nice. I should sit down. Oh, right. We don't have an animation for that. I ended up dozing off on the bench. I was thinking the exact same thing. Out of the white, I have to go to black. <laughs> Still an animation for that. The smell is familiar. Ooh, more, oh, no. more familiar smells. Oh, no. Oh, no. Look at this one, Haruto. It's another great shot. Nice! It seems very old. Yeah. I bet it was special for somebody. Like friends or family? Yeah! I see. Oh, it's Dr. Ichiki. Oh, no. Hello there. Hello. Ha oh, excuse me. Hello. Hello there, Haruto, uh, Ali. What are you two doing? Like, he pretends like he doesn't know anything, and he's like freaking the, the guy who runs the hospital. Bro. <laughs> hi, hi, Doctor. Take a look at this. Hmm, a photograph. Did you take it with that camera? Yep. Yep. I didn't know that you two had a camera. I'll Did you take pictures of me? <laughs> Did you take pictures of me slipping pills into your? <laughs> I'm gonna have to take that camera. <laughs> well, well, actually, Owie. Huh? Shh. Oh right. Hmm. What's the matter? Oh, nothing. 
we've had this camera for quite a few years now. Ah, uh, see. <laughs> we can give you some photos if you want. You can choose the ones you like from here. Yeah, you go. Keep forgetting the voices. Hmm, I wonder which ones I should pick. This one is nice. Is it the hospital garden? When was this taken? Oh, around two weeks ago. This flower and the sky and this picture are pretty. Where did you? When did you take these two? Uh, this was from this week, and this one was last week. Uh, last week. Oh, God damn it! I'm sorry. You've taken a lot recently, huh? Uh. What should we? What should we? What What should we do, Haruto? Don't worry. We also have ones taken a very long time ago, right? Oh, right. Uh, this one was from four years ago. Haruto and I took it together. Whoa. Wow. Wow. Another pretty flower. Yep. You can have these four. Fine. Thank you. Well, Al, well, Ali, I think it's time for your checkup. The doctor wants to see you. Another checkup? It's time to leave now. I'll be seeing you later. Uh, I'll be, God damn it, I'm sorry. My brain is getting scrambled. Uh, I'll be seeing you later, Haruto. <laughs> is that supposed to be an, oh, it's an impression <laughs> of the doctor? Oh, great. I got it right in. <laughs> That's really funny. That's so weird. Oh, yeah, wow. That's so strange. Was I convincing? Mm, kinda. Oh, only kinda, huh? Anyway, you should go. Yep, see you later. Well then, Haruto, let's get you back to your room so you can rest. I have to rest again? That's so boring. I'm getting told to rest all the time. Hmm. If I have to. Well, why don't we take some pictures out in the garden, then? Why would I do that? <laughs> can we do that? As long as you're with me, I'm sure it will be fine. This guy's definitely a child monster. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Let's Yay! take some pictures. <laughs> Yay! Let's take some pictures in your room, kid. <laughs> Phew! What a beautiful day. Doctor, can I ask you a question? Hmm, of course. Aoi and the others, they look healthy, but they're sick, right? Well, yes. They may look fine on the outside, but they have a very scary disease. Uh, is it true that Aoi's sickness won't get better? They got HIPAA back then. I heard them speaking about it. <clears throat> dot, dot. It's going to be okay. We doctors are working very hard to cure it. So it can't be cured right now? Hmm. Please tell me. As you said, it's very difficult to, to cure at this point. We'll definitely find a cure in the near future, though. There are other children with the same sickness as Aoi who have received a lung so they could live a longer life. I see. Please tell me more about Aoi's sickness. Maybe next time. Did you manage to take any good photos? Uh, yeah, well, they're not as good as the ghost photos from... Out again mm. from last time. Sorry? Ghost photos? The ghost photos from last time. Yeah. <laughs> then I suggest you take some. You should take pictures during the night. 
Doctor, do you believe in ghosts? This music in the background sounds totally like Mr. Rogers, by the way. Well, oh, I, I wouldn't know. No, I don't. If they exist, I'd have been haunted by now. Because I killed a lot of people. <laughs> Why? Did, did you do something bad? No, uh, no, I didn't. But I can't say the same about my ancestors. Okay. Well, everyone's, an everyone's ancestors did something bad. That's just human history. <laughs> Then you have nothing to do with it. Sure, but ghosts are like that. I thought you didn't believe in them. <laughs> really? Weird. Weird indeed. I fell asleep. Standing up. We were so close back then. Like he's, he acts as if he didn't know him, so what's, what's the deal? Yeah. yeah. What should I do? You should kill yourself. <laughs> Who's this? That person. Oh my god. Is that Mario? I'm just gonna leave. Actually, let me leave. I probably should talk to another oh. person. Yes, who is that? Is that Groucho Marx? Yeah. <laughs> A young man, a young man relaxing on a bench in the middle of the day, when I was your age, I would do exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> ah, boomers. Weren't you a journalist, sir? You've got that right. I was a journalist for over a year. I think you, meet, you met this guy in the first cycle very briefly. Oh, right. Did you ever investigate awful crimes? That's a, kind of the first question to ask. Of course! Countless times! Did you ever discover, discover that someone was up to something but I had no proof? All the time! I just wrote tabloid pieces anyway. <laughs> ah. What did you do in that case, sir? Well, I'd look around to try collecting testimonies. Testimonies, huh? You have to gather evidence from around your target. What if you couldn't find any evidence or testimonies? Well, as a last resort, I'd go... Con uh, you keep cutting out for some reason. Oh, uh, sorry. Not your fault. All right, I, I think I'm... I think I'm uh, Bumping there. Well, as a last resort, I'd go con them in person. It's like it's like after you. It's like with your mic. I think after you speak for like more than a couple seconds, it cuts out briefly and then it comes back in. God damn it! Maybe it's like a uh, half duplex or something. I don't know. Yeah, cheap piece of crap. <laughs> yeah, let me try disconnect and reconnect. Oh, that's fine. Uh, Parking your voice is the cutting out makes it a comedy. <laughs> <laughs> Get the juice. Uh, still, let me just try something real quick. Okay. While we're waiting, if anybody's watching this, you're not subscribed to the channel, might as well subscribe now while you're waiting. Hit that like button, because you got really better to do your time, right? Yeah, hit that like button. Why not? Might as well. Uh, Can't hurt. More important than the subscribe button. Are you back? Yeah. Uh, you can tell me if. You can tell me if anything changed, but probably won't. You'd face them directly. Absolutely, and ask them directly. Surprisingly, it can be the most effect effective option against these kinds of people. So far, it's better. Yeah. There are actually quite a few who confessed all when I confronted them. That seems unlikely. Although that approach fails far more often. <laughs> Do you regret the failures? You know, kids, I've failed so many times. I don't regret any of the things I did, but I regret the things I didn't do. Thank you. I'm like waiting, praying for another chapter to come. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm gonna do it. 
Yay! Where it all starts. All right, and that's it for tonight. Because I'm Ooh. tired. You're tired. Ah, oh, that's okay. But I re I enjoyed this. <laughs> Fuck your voices. Thank God. No, I, I think I, it's interesting, but it's it's really weird. I don't know. I mean, I don't I don't I don't think this game is that much longer. Like I I gotta imagine it's like one more session and we'll get through it. But I really don't know for sure. So, thank you very much, Dorian Karen, for uh, being such a great voice actor. And uh, thanks everybody who's here the here watching this stream, including of course the Pirate Gamer Boy, Palpuck, Lewis, Jim Leonard. And uh, that was it in terms of people that actually said hello. There were a bunch of other people that it out, but uh, if you don't say hello, I don't know who you are, obviously. So thanks to the people who were there and are still here. There's only really a couple of people. It's getting late. And uh, I'll try to stream something tomorrow. Probably not this, but uh, something else. We'll figure out what it is. It might be um, something that Matt suggested, a, a, a Quest 3 um, adventure game about Wallace and Gromit. So I might try that one. Although I have to admit, I never see, never watched anything Wallace and Gromit, so I'm a little bit. I don't know what they are though. It's like a guy and his dog, but uh, anyway, <laughs> um, check that out. We'll be hopefully back tomorrow on something. And uh, if you're watching this after the fact, leave a comment, let me know what you think, and feel free to like and subscribe. Check out my Discord, and uh, have a really great night, everybody. See you again soon. Peace out. Bye, guys.